what this is all about. Is your right to freedom of speech? Well, maybe America great is an independent, vigorous president. But jerk burns a flag. America is not threatened. Political speech is the heart of the human for expressing their religious beliefs. Now is the time to make up the reality of all the causes of Welcome to Speaking Freely. I'm Ken Paulson. Today, our very special guest, the one and only Little Richard. Welcome. Thank you. Great to have you here. Uh, this, uh, this show is about free speech in America and celebrates artists who have used free speech to make a difference. And, and you're pretty much the personification of free spirit. You have always sung the way you wanted to, dressed the way you wanted to, said what you believed, and yet that couldn't have been too easy at the beginning of your career. You were really one of a kind. Well, uh, you know, I'm from Macon, Georgia, and it's a, at the time it was a little country town. It's still a small place, but it was a little bitty place then. Um, and I always, I didn't like to sing like nobody else. I didn't like to play like nobody else. Uh, and and I was considered as crazy and stupid and backwards because of doing that. And so when I would come down and uh, uh, and sing, uh, by me having that the gravel type voice. Uh, it was the gospel twist to it. They, uh, I was condemned quite a bit. And, and then the way I dressed uh, uh, back in the time, uh, 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 you was considered something else if you dressed, uh, look the way I'm looking. You know, uh, uh, um, my mother is Indian. She's a Mohegan tribe out of Virginia. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, um, I, I look the way I look, you, you know, and so, but. And, and everybody, my brothers and sisters, would feel bad about it because uh, uh, everybody, you know, I would go to places and, and they would laugh at me. They would make fun of me. And, but it still didn't, didn't stop me. I was determined to play the piano. I was determined to sing. I was determined to dress different and look different. And, and so that's what I've been doing. But it, it's been very, very rough. It's easy now. But back in that day, it was rough. So when you began playing piano, in the first place, what, what got you into music? Where, where did that path lead you? Well, um, gospel. My, all of my people, most of my people are preachers. Uh, my grandfather was a minister, uh, uh, a Methodist minister. My cousin was a Pentecostal uh, minister. Uh, um, I had uh, a cousin that was a singer, gospel singer. Uh, and, and I was a very good friend of Mahalia Jackson. <coughs> she was a good friend of ours. Wow. And, and so I, I, I admired her and I loved her so much. And then uh, uh, that's the way I, I started taking piano lessons. My sister did. And then I, um, I I wanted to do what she was doing. And so then I started taking it. She stopped it. I, I kept on. You couldn't have a much better role model than Mahalia Jackson. Oh, I love Mahalia Jackson. I just, um, if you listen at me closely, and you would hear her turns in my voice. Uh, her gospel singing wasn't that screaming like people are doing now. It was just, you know, she was like, go on, tell it all mountain, over the hill, and everywhere Lord, go. You know, that was the way that she do her little thing. Do the whole thing. That was, oh, yeah. <laughs> that was terrific. And, and, and that's the way she, uh, um, she did that, and, and so I idolized her from a child, and um, uh, I just really, she, 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 she inspired me, her and a, a lady, uh, another lady, named Marilyn Williams, uh, but they was really uh, inspiration to me, and it made me, it really helped me. My mother had 12 children, so that helped me quite a bit. You know, your love of God is clear, and it's been reflected throughout your life, mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm a little surprised that you didn't from the very beginning, become a gospel singer. Mm -hmm. Instead, you you were this, this, I mean, you originated rock and roll in many respects. Mm -hmm. How did you get off the path of gospel and in, onto the path of Tutti Frutti? Um, all my life uh, uh, has been really good for gospel, but um, Tutti Frutti came from nowhere. It came from nowhere, and um, um, it was a strange situation with that, I really didn't, um, uh, um, I didn't realize what was going on back in that time. Um, uh, um, I really didn't know what Tutti Frutti was, to be truthful. I, I, um, I, I was saying it, but I didn't know what it meant. I was saying it, I, I, I had, had made it up in my mind, and, uh, but 
I, I, I didn't know. And you're talking about freedom of speech. I went to New Orleans, and they stole everything out of the song. They, 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 next thing I looked on, I saw everybody's name on the record but mine. Huh. And, and it wasn't the original record. It wasn't the original song that was sang either. Didn't they change the lyrics on Tutti Frutti? Um, some of them, not, not all of them. But, but did they? Well, what they did, they, they did enough to say that they wrote it. I see. Uh, 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 you know, it, the field, you got to remember that uh, uh, the field has been so crooked, so long. Uh, uh, um, I wish that, that we could have got some other people to be on here with me today that took my money. Uh, 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 um, they're sitting up on big hills and on, on the mountains. And although I'm on one, too, but it took them a long time for me to get up on one. Uh, but they've been on one a long time. So one guy, he took all of everything, and he just really did me up and up. But uh, he ended up with his family with Alzheimer's disease. Uh, 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 you know, uh, and when you do wrong, God don't bless you. And that happened to a lot of people. Yeah, well, well, you know, he he, uh, he wanted to go on a big vacation. He had all of this money uh, that he didn't share and didn't distribute it. And, and when time to go on this vacation, he went in. His wife didn't know who he was. You know, uh, because, you know, you reap what you sow. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a southern in this sense. I believe that you reap what you sow. And I believe that you got to have God to maintain and sustain and to make it. Uh, 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 and if you can't take it, you can't make it. You got to know it to show it. You got to live it to get it. I believe that from the bottom of my soul, you know. And, and that's what have happened in my life. Uh, uh, even when people started calling me, um, I remember when I first played with Little Roger uh, um, in Philadelphia uh, for Mike Douglas' show. I had on a glass suit <laughs> made of glass. And Little Roger at the time, he, wasn't, he was wearing tuxedos. The bow tie, he would put the candelabra on the piano. When he saw me, he said, ooh. <laughs> I didn't have the money to do what he did. Uh, uh, but uh, when he saw me, he said, man. I had on all these mirrors that uh, my, the, my little friend and glued on the outfit and made them. And, and so he, he, he looked at that thing, and it, 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 it's, then that next thing I know, he was dressing the same type thing, uh, 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 um, not taking nothing away from Liv, uh, uh, which is a good friend of mine. And of course, when, when he passed, and he's still a good friend of mine, although he's dead. I, I just um, I pray that he, his name was on the book of life. The, uh, well, you have inspired a lot of people. And from the very beginning, a song like Tutti Frutti, which some people thought was too wild, mm -hmm. especially from a black man mm -hmm. in uh, 1956, um, and then Pat Boone records the song, and, and he has a hit that's actually bigger than your hit. Mm -hmm. How did you feel about that? Did Pat Boone do you a favor, or did he do you an injustice? Well, um, you know, Pat Boone is a friend of mine also. I, um, I, I felt... At the time, I wish that freedom of speech was present for me. I wish they had known that I had, could speak and say what I wanted to say. But I, 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 my hometown was a little under the apartheid system at that time. Uh, you know, black people stayed over here, white people stayed over there, and they didn't have nothing to do with each other. You know, when I go in a restaurant to eat, I had to go to the kitchen door uh, 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 to eat, and I had to. Uh, it, it was really different. And this and, is when you were a performer. Uh, yes, even when I it, it, it's uh, way before that, before that. It, you know, I was dealing, I was dealing with, with everything way back in that. But uh, 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 I think that Pat Bone was, um, was uh, really, uh, um, I, I think he called himself uh, 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 doing something to help. I really do believe that. I, be, I don't think the record company was playing was that way. But I believe that Pat planned it that way. I believe that by Pat Boone recording that, it made it bigger. Because black records was only being played on black stations at the time. And they called it race music. Race music. And, 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 and I remember when Elvis came out, they said that, that this, this boy going to take this, 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 this nigger music, that's the word they used, over here, and ruin our kids, make them go crazy with that jungle, jungle music. You know, uh, 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 um, so it, 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 it was a thing. Uh, uh, being able to be alive at this time and around at this time and being well, that you can speak what you feel, you, you have the opinion that you can say, good or bad, black or white, red, brown or yellow. That, that uh, uh, um, I, I believe that then Pat started making money, made him bigger. Then he, he felt he saw something else in that because it became a huge, gigantic record, uh, uh, a huge. In fact, uh, 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 a lot of the people wouldn't get mine because I was black, but a lot of them got mine because I was black. You know, 
there's a lot of whites that love black music. Well, you're very gracious in your comments about Pat Boone and, and uh, urban rock and roll histories and suggested that he ripped you off. It's, it's actually good to hear you say that he's a friend of yours. Now, we brought you on the show to talk about freedom of speech. And, and one of the reasons why I wanted to talk to you is that you did sing songs that, that were uh, unpopular in some quarters but had the courage to do it. And, and what is your sense of free speech in America today? How important is it to the kind of country we are? We are? I think that we, uh, on, on the, in this country, I think it's the danger that, you know, it's just like if, if I say something about somebody and, and they get mad because I said it and, go, and they block me from my job, uh, that, that, that's, that's not freedom of speech. Freedom of speech when everybody have a right to say what they want to say, good or bad, right or wrong. You may not like it, but it's my choice. I can't. I have a choice to do that, and, and I can do that. I can say that. Uh, 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 but I think that sometimes in this country uh, 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 that uh, uh, people are condemned for speaking what they feel and what they want to feel. And I think that uh, when you speak, you should tell the truth. And if it's not the truth, you should shut up. Uh, I think that a person have a right. Uh, 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 as I stated earlier, you got to live it to give it. you got to know it and show it. Uh, uh, um, if a person don't live their life uh, or whatever it is, I think that uh, uh, um, I'm not into politics. I've never been into politics in my life. Uh, I believe that God sets up kings and take them down. I believe that's all left in the power of God. Regardless of how much we vote, I still think God rules over it. Uh, uh, and I'm glad that we have a right to vote. I thank God for that freedom, you know, and it's a good freedom for every man, race, creed, or color, and I think that. And I think, I feel this this year, regardless of what color a person is or what race they are, they have a right to speak, and they have a right it, it, to be truthful and real about it. But don't make up a lie uh, uh, to make somebody look down because they're this and because they're that. Tell the truth. And, and God said, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And, and, and if you do what God said do, you'll be free. You know, I just I'm, just, I'm just glad that there's a show in America like this that you can speak about the freedom and the, and, and the freedom of choice. You know, uh, uh, that a, 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 a person have a right to do this. Good, you may not agree with me, but I have a right. Uh, you have a right. I may not agree with you, but you have that right. And so that that's where my thoughts go. Yeah, this is a, this is a free country. I think. Yes, it is. Thank you, God for America. Do you think there's anywhere else in the world you could have been, Little Richard, the way you have been? No. I, I've traveled all over this world. Uh, for the last uh, uh, 60 years, I've traveled everywhere. I've been, I've been everywhere. I've been on, on I, I've never seen nothing like this country. This is the greatest country in the world, and it is God's country. God set this country up to be a depository of his truth, to be an outlet to the whole world. That's what this country is. And, and God made us the wealth so we can be blessed to other people to keep them in health. But we got to be a blessing and a lesson. I think we should be both a blessing and a lesson. And I'm just glad to the Lord that uh, uh, I'm an American. I, you, you're blessed to be born in this country. And, and you, you know, uh, 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 like some people say, well, I'm from Africa. I ain't from Africa. I'm not against Africa. I love Africa. But I'm from Macon, Georgia. I, I, I'm an American black boy from, from Macon, Georgia. And, 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 and it's an honor. It's an honor to be born in Africa. It's an honor to be born in any country. But I am an American, uh, 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 what they call an Afro-American, uh, American, uh, 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 and, and I thank God for just being here and being a part of it. Have you ever bit your tongue? Have you ever felt like a time when you couldn't say what you believed? Oh, many times. Yeah. Many times. Many times. Uh, when I was a boy in, in Georgia, many times I... I felt that I wanted to say something, but I, I was afraid to say it. I was afraid. It was a fear that I had. Thank God it's gone. Uh, but back in that time, I did have it. And, and my mother was there, and I didn't want um, nothing to happen to my mama. I love my mama. You know, I didn't want nothing to happen to her. And, and my brothers and sisters are my father. Uh, um, and a lot of times, uh, 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 I used to watch my grandmama when I was a boy. She used to wash clothes for people, and she ironed them, and with the iron that sits on the hot cold, and she, and she ironed each one. Now she had to keep them shirts so white and clean, and they get no black or nothing, no dirt or no, nothing from the floor, not, no black soot from, I never got on the shirts. I used to wonder. I said, how in the world did Big Mama do that? And I used to sit there and I watch, 
and I watch. And, and I used to watch her when, when the white people would come to get their clothes, and she would, say, she would go to smiling. She had a thing where, where the old black women did. But they, she said, how you doing, little Mr. Willie? She would call that little boy, eight years old, Mr. Willie. And, 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 uh, um, and I used to ask the big mama, yeah, his name ain't no Mr. Willie. That's old Willie. And the man would say, that boy ain't going to be nothing. He, he, he ain't right. So he would tell a joke, and my grandmother would laugh, and I wouldn't laugh. So he said, did you hear the joke? I said, I ain't heard no joke. And so I wouldn't laugh. So I, I, I was outspoken from a child, but not in a bad way, in a respectful way. But I, I, I wasn't no pushover either. Uh, 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 um, but I, I would sit there, and I would just watch her, how she endured all of that through the years. And she was a... She had freedom of speech and didn't know it. She, she could have said something and she didn't. She washed all those clothes. She ironed all of those shirts. She cooked all of that food and the little money was told. You know, but uh, we thank God for the money back in that time. He, he carried us through. God multiplied. You know, we had a little, but God made it much through his divine power. You know, in your music, uh, there are people who sometimes thought you were a little crude. A little raucous, and yet you listen to the radio today or listen to CDs and rap music, and there's a lot of profanity. You know, in this country, technically, you know, free speech says they can say what they want and sing what they want. Do you have any thoughts about about popular music today and the, and the envelope it pushes? Uh, I, I think that I think the same way that uh, when I sing rock and roll, uh, they said that it was uh, awful, it was going to last and it be gone very soon. That's the same way I think about rap, rap music. It is, it's, art, it's an art. It's an art form. And if you, I'll tell you something, if you think it ain't nothing, try to sing some of it. And sing it in a melody like they're singing. It's hard. I'm a musician and it's hard for me. It's hard to sing it and stay within that thing the way they are. Uh, uh, um, and that's when all the young kids love it. Uh, I, I think that uh, uh, um, they have a right to do it. Now, some of it makes me tremble. I've heard those guys say some things on those records that I, I never knew you could say on the record. <laughs> uh -uh. And, and, and they call some names that I never knew you could say. And I think that uh, um, they, um, I, I, I think they should be careful how they talk. But this really, you got to remember that that we get back. That is still freedom of speech. They still have a right to do it, whether I like it or not. I take that back. They have a right to do it. It's their right. You know, and, and a lot of those kids are, in, are saying what they see in their neighborhood. They're saying what they see at their home. They're saying what the life that they have lived. And that's what they talk about. They don't make records about some things that like other people did years ago. They, 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 their thing is strictly about what they're living in this time and, and the things that they're around. And, and there's a whole lot of stuff going on in these neighborhoods and, and the projects and in the and, 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 and suburbs, too. Whole lot going on out there. Just because it's out there, it's going to, and they're buying those records out in the suburbs. They're buying those records. You can't sell millions of records and, and they're just being bought in the urban. It's different. They're buying it everywhere. Those guys are big. They're selling millions of records, and some of them make a million dollars a night. See, and that's a lot of money, you know, uh, to, for rapper. You know, I, 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 uh, that's a lot. And, and I'm, I think with the God that, uh, uh, that we're here, but I wish freedom of speech is, is right to have and it's good to have, but we need to watch. We need to say some good things for the kids to lead them and to guide them and to, sh to, rest, to show them that God is love, that he is omnipotent, that he's omniscient, he's omnipresent. He's the truth, he's the light, he's the dope, he's the mighty way. He's the holy light that guides and that lead us. And that if we trust in God and hold on to his unchanging end, the world can't do you no harm because you save in the masses of it. That's what I think. You've done some preaching. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just love God. Jesus has been so good. He, he just, uh, I, I just now when I was talking, I felt like jumping up the shelf. I, I just felt it all over my body. Uh, uh, but I just love, I just love God. He just, he, he's been so good. He's been so wonderful. All my friends are dead. That came around, when I came around, they're gone. I'll be 72 in December, and God's no respect to the person. I didn't have to be here. God kept me here for a reason, but and I never thought I would live to see my 72. God only promised us 70 years, 
That's 3410. And I've lived almost two years by grace over, over the mercy. And I'm just so glad to be here. And I'm just, I'm, I'm glad to meet you and the other people here that are trying to get programs out like this uh, uh, to people and, uh, and, 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 and to be in life and love lifting, lifting to, to people. And that's what young people need to know. They need to know that there is a way. There's a door. It looks like it's shut, but it can be open. You know, as, as, a, as a wonderful recording career as he had, he also took time off to serve the Lord yes. on, on a couple of different occasions. And um, and you did it in interesting ways. I mean, I, I think you sold Bibles, and I mean, you've done all kinds of... It wasn't just the glamorous jobs you were pursuing. Um, and I, I gather that's something in your life, that direct service to the Lord and to fulfill your faith, that you feel every... Every few years, and you feel like you need to embrace it. Uh, um, well, I, I embrace it every year now because I find out that uh, 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 what I was doing was my living and my job. Serving God is my life. Uh, uh, and, and without serving God, you don't have no job. You can't work. And, and he's the one that guides you in your work and in your activities that you have to do every day. And so I just trust God for that. And I... Um, I attended Oakwood College in Huntsville, Alabama. I, 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 I'm, I'm a Bible student. I love the Lord. I sleep with the Bible in my bed every night, read in my arms, drop it in my chest every night. And I feel safe when I fly on airplanes. I hold it in my hand. I don't put it up. Because I have seen airplanes going through some terrible turbulence. And I have prayed and held the Bible. And I've seen God lift that thing up in the turbulence many times. And, and, and I advise anybody to fly, put the Word of God in your pocket. You see something when you fly, you're doing it. You know, and, and, and God has really, he's really uh, uh, been a, a light in my life. You know, he's been alpha and omega. He's been the first and the last. And, and I think that people need to understand that soon and very soon that something is going to happen, that the same way God came back in Noah's day, he's coming back in this day. I'm not preaching the gospel. I'm not preaching nothing live on this channel. I'm thinking, I'm <laughs> sure. Uh, but we're not preaching. So, But, but uh, we're just telling the people that's the way that I have lived. Uh, 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 from rock and roll to the rock of ages. Although I still say rock and roll, it's still my living. But I still have the rock of ages. And to be clear, we, we believe the whole First Amendment, which includes freedom of religion. So yes. you can testify. It's okay. Yes. And I believe in freedom of religion also. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom in God. All right. Hallelujah. You know, when, uh, when rock and roll began, some critics said it was a devil's music. Mm -hmm. Were they just plain wrong? Um... I believe that there's some music, uh, I've seen some music in my life that has been, I don't think God had nothing to do with. And some people may think that what I've done, God didn't have nothing to do with, uh, but that's their choice. But I believe that the thing, a lot of things that I've done in my life, I think I was inspired from on high from God. Uh, um, uh, it's hard for me to answer that question, the red questions. I have to break that down because uh, I, I would hurt a lot of people if I answered wrong. And, I don't, and, and, and this tape be around for a long time. I don't want to um, to answer that wrong. I, I, I believe that there's a lot of people that are inspired to write lyrics. I believe there are a lot of people that are inspired to make beats and music. And I believe there are a lot of people that are inspired by God. I believe there are some people that are inspired from the bottom, the, the power of darkness. And, and, and can none of us deny that. I believe that. But I believe that God overrules all of it. I believe that God overrules all. I believe that when you do something with good intention, good purposes, to bless, to help, to live, to, 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 to help people eat, help people sleep, help people pay their rent, help people to keep their houses when they're going in foreclosure. And you don't even know the man, you pay that house off. And you ain't going to never get that money back. It's something to loan money to a man that you know they got money going to pay you back. But when you give that money to old Johnny, and you know Johnny ain't got a dime. He ain't got a pot, no kitchen, nothing. And you know that Johnny can't pay, and you give him this $50,000, you got to love Jesus to do that because you know you ain't going to get it back. <laughs> and, 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 see, and when you see a man do that, he really know God. And most of my life, I've done that. I've, sa I've saved people home, many houses. I've saved people home when I was losing mine. You are. Uh, kind enough to come on the show to talk about freedom of speech. And, and that's refreshing to us because a whole lot of people come on the show to talk about their new movie. Yeah. Uh, and you're too modest to talk about your accomplishments. But anybody who looks at the history of, of rock and roll, you know, 
you can't hear Paul McCartney without hearing some Little Richard. Um, you can't hear a, a, a lot of great music without hearing echoes of your inspiration. And, you know, throughout your career when you've asked about who you are and what you are in the history of rock and roll, I've heard you say you're the originator and the inventor. And I think most recently I've read that you're the architect of rock and roll. That's, that's what they call me, the architect. I think that's a fair description. Of rock and roll. We call it that. Yeah, I didn't say it. They did it. I never thought of that name. I, I was using the name the Quasar, but they call me the architect. Well, you've accomplished a great deal, and you practically invented rock and roll. If you're not, if you're not the sole inventor, you're one of the three or four founding fathers. And it's a great, great uh, privilege to us to have you on the show. Thank you so much. I just have uh, one question, which is, where do you go from here? What, what's left for you? Um, I hope a little longer <laughs> life on this earth uh, to be a blessing and a lesson to people. And I hope that uh, uh, God blesses um, uh, me. I hope God blesses uh, our girl, government and, and uh, our country, uh, which is a great country. And I hope that God bless us to be a blessing to other people that are less fortunate and to, for all the races to come together and show love for God and to, to know that uh, 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 we can show our true colors in God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Special guest today.